What's going on, y'all? It's the kid J. Nolan here. Hey, man, I want to talk to y'all about one of the most fascinating stories going on in the music industry, one of the most independently minded artists that nobody seems to be talking about on all of the major platforms. And I feel like it's a huge disservice to the whole music industry, especially in the independent sector. If you're an independent artist, producer, songwriter, y'all need to be paying attention to my guy out in California. La Russell, right? He's from Vallejo, California. And if you like Nipsey Hussle, if you liked his whole ethos and his whole independent minded backbone that he had going into the music industry, you need to be following La Russell. You also need to be following me as well. So just going to do a little plug there. But what La Russell is doing right now is groundbreaking. He's doing everything himself, self-contained. I was watching this dude post videos every day of him rapping from his garage. You know what I'm saying? Look like his mama's garage, as a matter of fact. He had his homies in the garage. They had merch tables set up in the garage. They had the mic set up in the garage. And he was rapping out that bitch every day. Every day he was rapping another song out of his crib. Next thing I know, they setting up a sound stage in the backyard instead of the garage. Now he's holding big shows, holding hundreds of people in his backyard every day now. I ain't talking about just on some one-off type stuff. Each video has a different crowd, different outfit, different look. He's performing different songs, and he's consistently posting this content on his IG page. You feel me? Steven Jackson from the NBA has repeatedly played his music on IG and, you know what I mean, walks around quoting his lyrics. He performed on I Am Athlete, a very dope performance, by the way. His music is not gangster. He raps about his life and things that he actually experienced. He's not trying to be nobody in particular. He's just being himself, and that's why he's winning. He's talking about his experience, and as he's gotten more music savvy about the business, he raps about what he's learning and what he's experiencing, and all of that has gotten people captivated in his journey. Super similar to exactly what I've been doing, but he's been able to, you know what I'm saying, scale that up on a different level as of late. All right, cool. I didn't just come here to sing his praises though, you feel me? So last week, he just released a new album called I Hate When Life's Going Great, right? So what he ended up doing was basically a crowdfunding campaign. Crowdfunding has been around for a long time. People do it in film. People do it when they're trying to get a merch line off the ground. People do it in music every now and then. That's why you have your Kickstarters, your GoFundMes. You know what I'm saying? That stuff has been around for a long time. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, he partnered up with this company called Even.Biz, right? He also partnered up with J.R. Mackey. For those of y'all that don't know who he is, look him up, man. He's actually one of the people that's behind the success of Money Long, Hours and Hours and all of that that took off, you know what I'm saying? And she has a very strong team behind her. She's now signed to Def Jam off of the success of Hours and Hours, which was done independently. LaRusso went and got with J.R. Mackey and he also got with Even and they did this crowdfunding campaign where he said, if you invest into my upcoming album, pay what you want. Let me know what you think the album is worth. You pay it and we're going to actually give out royalties to the fans that contribute to the album. This is going to be something that y'all can invest into. You're going to get the music. This is music you're going to live with, and you're going to be proud to pay. I'm sure, for those of y'all that know about Nipsey, this sounds very familiar. Because what Nipsey did, he did a Proud to Pay campaign, him and Dom Kennedy, right? They were releasing mixtapes that were available for free on Dat Piff. But he also had his dedicated fans. He was like, yo, the people that's really locked in with me, y'all going to pay for this. Y'all going to get this album sent to you or you going to pick it up from me at my location where I'm doing the pop up at. And this is going to be a token of my appreciation to my fans. This is something that we're all going to remember. So when I do blow up one day and I'm not able to always do these types of special occasions. Y'all are going to remember this day when it happened. Y'all going to look back at that CD case. Y'all going to look back at that album. You're going to play it back in the future and be like, man, I remember when I bought this from Nip. Same concept that LaRussell has going on. But the industry is not talking about this young man the way that they should be, which is why I'm making this video. So he did like a pre-sale, a very light pre-sale because he wasn't really begging for money or nothing like that. He just said, yo, this is what I'm doing. And he did something about a, uh, a gold card membership and whatever, whatever. I don't think the gold card membership panned out exactly how he wanted to. He had to refine how that worked. But it ended up going into the form of this album, right? Leading up to October 1st, he was promoting it. He kept doing his videos, blah, blah, blah. But in the behind the scenes, they were putting together this campaign. October 1st, the album launched where all the fans that donated got sent the album. Digital download, nothing crazy. 
You know what I mean? Very basic, but you get exactly what you pay for, right? So he had 1,134 fans that received that album on the first day. It's not crazy numbers, you know what I mean? A thousand sales on a billboard charts that wouldn't look all that impressive. However, the average album sale was $24. Now, when's the last time somebody just went out and paid $24 for an album? I think you probably would have had to buy um, Jay-Z's Volume 2, The Life and Times of Sean Carter, you know what I'm saying, for $24. You would have had to buy a double disc or, you know what I mean, Machiavelli or something, you know what I mean? All Eyes on Me, a double disc album to pay $24 for a CD back in the days. Unheard of in 2022. And he made $27,000 on the first day of the release. They even provided a breakdown of how the fans actually sent that money, right? So they had one individual that paid him $1,000 flat. Boom. I want to support you. I want to back you. He had three fans that paid $500 a piece. He had 54 people spend $100 or more on this project. He had 130 that spent $50. 545 people spent $20 or more. And then he had 75 people that gave $5 or less. Just in a pay what you want situation. If you got it, you got it. If not, you get it later. But if you locked in... Give what you can, right? It's just like at the church. Some people would say this is an NFT type of situation. And I guess you could say uh, it has a very similar ethos, a very similar uh, mentality as what they're doing with NFTs. And it is a digital product, but essentially it's just paying for the product that you want. You ain't got to do all of that elaborate, pay, pay for it in crypto, do this, do that, do this. Set your bank account up, put your card information in, tell me how much you want to spend on it, and we're going to go there. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to get the music that you want. And this is an artist that you already invested in emotionally. You're keeping up with them. So why wouldn't you pay for their product? It's just that simple. Then they go and provide all of the numbers of what the album did and what it would take to reach this same amount of success had he gone the traditional streaming route, right? So he had 1,134 fans that bought the album. He made $27,000. Average sale on this project, $24, because over 2,000 people signed up. The streaming equivalent would have required 1.8 million fans. It would have took 9 million streams for him to make $27,000 off of this album. Plus, he would have had to wait two to three months to receive the payout, whereas in his method, he got paid out instantly. That's just off the first day. By day three, they updated. He was up to 1,600 sales, right? So then he was he had made 40,000 off the album. The album's been out for five days now. He's sold 2,500 copies and made $60,000 direct to consumer. Still averaging $24 per sale. But now over 5,000 people have signed up in the interest of what's going on. Again, look at the breakdown. He had one fan give $1,500 or more. He has three that spent 1000 Remember, the first day, only one person had spent 1000 Two more people came after that, dropped a stack on it. Nine people dropped $500. Had 93 people drop $100 or more. 244 people came and dropped $50 or more, and he had 1,213 folks drop $20 or more. $20 a dub, you know what I'm saying? Depending on where you like to eat at, you can't even get a nice meal for $20, you know what I'm saying? So people are understanding the value. It's like, yo, I'm investing into this artist. He's going to go off and be, you know what I mean, one of the next ones in the game. I want to invest in not only this album, but his progression. That is the whole thing. You're not investing into an album. You're investing in the future of this person that you care about and you want to see them win. Plus, you enjoy their music. That's the layers. And then they released a comparison saying from 2020 all the way up to 2022, 
as an artist, LaRussell made about $30,000 off of streaming, which is not bad. You know what I mean? Most artists will never make $30,000 off of streaming platforms. However, his streaming numbers are pretty good because like I said, he's been building his buzz on social media, collaborations. A lot of people in the industry do know him and support him, but it's kind of one of those stories that's like the greatest story never being told. People don't really want to give him all the credit because of course, if people in the industry see that this guy can do it, who has no real cosigns, no valuable cosigns that, that everybody wants, then that makes people start questioning, why am I going the traditional route? Well, in five days of releasing this album, they made 60 racks. Again, they released the streaming equivalent. It would take 4 million fans, 20 million streams to make $60,000. And he would still have to wait two to three months before that revenue started to cash out. With this platform that he used, it comes out instantaneously. Let's get into who Even is, because now that we're familiar with LaRussell, we gotta go with the company that he partnered with and get some understanding on what it is that they do, how they contribute it, and why they're valuable. Due to the success that they achieved with the LaRussell project, now people are starting to you know, ask questions. They want to get down with the team. They want to learn more about what's going on. So they say, frequently ask questions. We have received thousands of DMs and emails over the past week. Here's some answers. What is Even? Even is a platform that rewards fans for supporting their favorite artists directly. Even is a direct to fan platform that empowers artists to reward their core fans by building a direct connection. How does Even work? On Even, fans purchase albums and are instantly on the list to receive exclusive access from their favorite artists. Owning an album on Even gives supporters access to the music before it is uploaded to the streaming platforms. Access on Even can also look like first access to content, merchandise, tour tickets, private events, and so much more. So the fans that bought this LaRussell album are actually granted lifetime uh, free entry into shows and stuff like that. These are things that he was setting up prior to the album going live. You know what I mean? Some of the fans are actually going to be receiving royalties on the album, depending on how much they actually uh, donated or, or gave up front to the project. When I purchase an album on Even, what do I get? Every album on Even comes with access. Although access varies per release, the album's access will be listed on each album page. So every artist can choose what level of access they want to give to their support group. How do I access my album on Even? To access your album, you must one, log into your Even account on even.biz, click on my library, select the album you would like to access, view and select your access under available access. Why should I purchase an album on Even? That's one of the biggest questions, right? Buying an album on Even means supporting your favorite artist directly. Unlike streaming platforms, which only pay artists on, on average a third of a penny per stream, which is something that I've been vehemently against ever since it began. I've been telling y'all I'm anti-streaming. I understand that y'all enjoy it. It's, in, it's uh, convenient. I use it to listen to artists that I enjoy as well. But when you really want to support somebody, all the independent artists that I know and love, when they drop an album... If they got a band camp, I go and pay that fee. I've paid $5, I paid $10, I paid $20. I think I paid $30 for a cat that pay, that dropped like a four song EP. You know what I'm saying? Out of support. It's not that hard to do it, man. And you pay it forward and you're supposed to get it back from the community. That's what I be trying to tell y'all. If artists work together, I support your project, you support mine. You get the money when you need it, invest it into yourself. When I come out with something, Put that right back into me and it's going to go around. It's going to circulate and we all do it for each other so that that same dollar or, or whatever that amount may be, it continues to serve its purpose for all of us. But then it comes back around. But y'all don't be on that type of way. Let's keep it moving. Plus, artists take home 90 percent of what you pay. This is probably the biggest thing. When we look at LaRussell making 60 racks in partnership with even. He took home 90% of that. Even the most lenient distribution situation, they're going to give you like an 80-20 split. Typically, you go to a label, you're going to get, might be 15% net. After all the taxes and everybody else is paid off, 
you take 15%. Can artists release their music on other platforms as well as through Even? Even is not intended to replace traditional channels. Instead, Even is designed to be the entry point to an artist's release and the beginning of a long-term direct relationship with their fans. This is for the dedicated people that want to be there long-term, that want to see you win. This ain't for the casuals. How do I release my album on Even? Even is currently in beta as we work to perfect the platform for all artists. If you are interested in releasing your album on Even, please email us at info at even.biz. We are reviewing and queries as quickly as we can. This is the story of the Russell's album, I Hate When Life Is Going Great, how he made over 60 racks in just five days independently, no label, no big features, no big producers, no big cosigns, just consistently servicing the people that want to see him win. This is something that every artist can do at your own level. It don't matter if you have 20 people that are willing to invest five dollars into you ten dollars twenty fifty whatever it is and you say hey man give what you can if you got more today hey be generous if you got less today i understand i'll take it we're, we're grateful for everything if we make a dollar i mean how many people have done free shows we do free shows all the time because we just want to express our art but the whole thing of it is at a certain point you gotta monetize on your craft otherwise you're gonna have to quit or you stop pursuing it on a commercial level. You do it for friends and family or just because it's therapeutic. There's nothing wrong with doing it as a hobby, but come on, man. Most of us get into music because we want to express ourselves at the highest level possible. And that doesn't mean that you got to be Jay-Z, Drake level. The highest level possible might be, hey, in my realm, this is what I'm able to do. I made $1,000 off of music. And if I can repeat that process multiple times throughout the year, you doing something. Can't nobody really say that you ain't because how many average people are making money off of the things that they genuinely love and care about? So at this point, if you don't know who LaRussell is, you need to be going and following him on Instagram and all of that good stuff. Get into the whole story. You know what I'm saying? Very captivating. The dude is hard not to like, man, because he just sticks to the work. He sticks to the plan. He doesn't deviate. He doesn't say ignorant stuff. He's not dissing nobody. He's not playing none of those industry games. He's just being authentic to himself and allowing people to witness it. That is the cheat code. So now that I gave you all this information, be sure to drop a comment down below. What do you think of Russell? What do you think of this game plan with Even? What do you think of just the crowdfunding? option you know what i mean i know some people are not gonna like it some people will let's talk be sure to like and share this video like i said if this is your first time seeing me on youtube hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell for all updates because music business is my wheelhouse you need to actually go back and watch more of my content too if this is your first time get familiar man by the time you watch two or three videos you're gonna want to subscribe anyway so i ain't gonna play with you all right much love and respect i'll see y'all on the next one peace